Hi, my name is Eric Traster. Today we're going to be looking at Keysight's Pattern Editor and Sequencer software, which is free to download off of Keysight's website. We'll be looking at four simple steps to download, install, and open up the Pattern Sequencer software. To get started, let's first go to Keysight's website. When you navigate to Keysight's website, this is the home page that you will see. At the very top, there is a search box. Please type in Pattern Editor in the search box, and then select the magnifying glass to search. Once the page loads, you'll see the software enables us to do a variety of operations, such as load and save patterns in different formats, invert and rotate patterns, create pre-emphasis signals, encoded signals, decoding, and more. Scroll to the bottom of the page to find the red download link and click to install. Before downloading the software, you will first need to read and accept a software license agreement. Select Agree at the bottom of the page. If you are logged into a Keysight account, you will be able to download the link right away. Otherwise, you will need to provide your name and email address to provide the download link. Once the download is complete, navigate to your download directory and install the pattern editor install underscore 4.0 file. A setup wizard will appear and select the directory you want the application to be installed to. By default, it will be Program Files x86, Agile and Technologies, Pattern Editor 4.0. Alternatively, you can use a USB flash drive and install the application onto the flash drive. This way, you can plug the flash drive into your high performance BERT and use the application directly from the instrument itself. Once the installation has completed, you can close the setup wizard. An icon will be added to your desktop, but this icon no longer works. You can go ahead and delete this icon, and you will then need to navigate to the root directory that you installed your application, which was x86 Agile Technologies Pattern Editor 4.0. The README file is a good file to start off if you do not know how to use the application, giving you a course introduction over the entire program. The Pattern Editor application will launch the actual application. To easily access the Pattern Editor application, I recommend right-clicking the application and sending a shortcut to the desktop. Once the application has been loaded, we can generate patterns quite simply. Simply select the File menu and load PRBS. Then you can select the number of bits you want in your pattern. We will use 2 to the 7th minus 1 for our example. You'll see on the top menu we have a variety of different functions available to modify our patterns. We can edit them in many ways such as invert, rotate, bit repetition and more, encode, decode, and change the pattern view too. If you want and you have a supported instrument, you can connect your instrument and upload the pattern directly to the instrument from this application over a local area network. You'll then need to specify the visa address of your instrument to connect to it and download the pattern files directly from the application. You also have the ability to load your own custom pattern files for modification via the file open menu. If you choose, you can save the pattern onto a flash drive and directly insert it into one of our instruments. To do so, you need to edit the pattern and convert the pattern into an SBIRT dual file. This will add necessary header information our instrument uses to interpret the pattern files. Give a description for your pattern and then select OK. 
lastly name the pattern.